First of all, in recent years, uh, politicians in Taiwan, especially those pro-independence uh, politicians in Taiwan, try to bring the United States into the equation of relations across the Taiwan Strait. They falsely believe that if the United States support them, they could turn Taiwan into a separate independent country with full sovereignty. That's actually a fantasy that they are indulging in because China will never allow any country, including the United States, to succeed in pushing Taiwan into a separate independent sovereign country. Now, for Lai Qingde, of course, he thought he would gain a lot of credo if he could visit the United States. He even mentioned that he might be invited to visit the White House, for example, and he would meet with uh, U.S. politicians, leaders of all kinds, while in the United States in transit. Strictly speaking, while in transit, you are not supposed to conduct any political activities in the United States. So Lai Qingde's goal was very clear. His motivation was very clear. They want to bring the United States into the equation to support independence or separatism of Taiwan. Now, on the other hand, why does the United States allow the edge of the envelope to be pushed again and again? Why do they allow politicians like Lai Qingde to meet with local politicians in the United States or even flout the idea of a visit to the White House, for example? I think this only is a firm con indication that the United States was very, very desperate to hollow out the one China policy. On the one hand, they say, yes, we still acknowledge the one China policy. There is no change. On the other hand, they keep working on hollowing out the real contents. They want to have a situation where the separatists in Taiwan can declare, we are already an independent country. We are not part of China. We do not belong to the same national destiny, for example. We do not share the same culture. That's false. Nobody will really take them seriously. And I would say the one China is written into the Charter of the United Nations. And the fact that Taiwan needs to be returned to China in 1945 was dictated by the Cairo Declaration and the Potsdam Proclamation. This is history. Nobody should be allowed to turn against history. Therefore, for those countries who really become a clown in supporting and advocating uh, Taiwan as an independent country, first of all, indulging in fantasy. Secondly, they will never be allowed to be successful.